What's up, y'all? Power Stroke and Rick here, back at you again. We got some uh, live action going on on the old blue truck here. Got some parts in today from none other than none other than SPE, Dan, Amy, Chance, all them cats. Nothing but the best. So I'm gonna show you what we got so far. We got more parts rolling in from them as well. But for right now, this is what we got. All right, so we have from SPE the coolant hose reroute kit 11 to 21 power strokes check it out man they give you directions i mean it's like a sore dick man can't beat it so what we got here we got some hose uh i believe it will need trimmed so once you mock it up you'll have to trim to fit um and then this long hose right here runs from the degas bottle to the coolant reservoir so we're gonna clean that up. Uh, and then we got some, some zip ties, some clamps, some factory Ford fittings right here. This is gonna go off the heater inlet tube right here, this guy. So, I'll show you what we're changing out here. Uh-oh, got my damn mat falling off already. A little windy out here today, boys. Boys and ladies, boys and gals. So, we're gonna hop up here and we have this line that comes down under here, double hose clamp there, runs over. Uh, is there another hose clamp there? I can't see. Yep, another hose clamp there. Comes right here. So we're getting rid of that. We're getting rid of that nasty, uh, nasty line. And then you come down here. You have this, which runs off the heater inlet tube right here. Which I think this is like a steel tube. So basically we're gonna take that out right there, put the coupling or whatever you wanna call it, the, the push connect fitting from SPE in there. Um, and then the new hose is gonna wrap up. We're gonna take this guy out. It goes all the way in the back. And then it's hard to see, but it goes right down there. This little guy right there. So we're gonna pull that off. And then we got a Ford uh, quick connect fitting that goes to the heater core housing or whatever you wanna call it goes right there so then we're gonna this is right here is where we have to trim the fit the new hose like i was showing so basically that wraps all in there so we're taking this whole thing off right here uh got a little bracket right here it looks like a i don't know what size i'll get in on that action in a little bit and then this guy runs down here we're gonna take this off uh for starters well as you can see i got a lot of spe components uh crankcase vent reroute kit i got the hot side pipe cold side pipe uh i got an mpd uh upper radiator hose radiator um some optimal red top batteries uh smb intake uh spe oil cap and then i am waiting on my spe full intercooler piping kit which will be here soon oh spe uh billet battery hold downs uh, so yeah, I really like SPE if you can't tell. So, first thing we're going to start with is the fun process, which is draining, let me see if I can get in there, draining the radiator, that's what we're going to call it. This cat right there. So we're going to drain at least about three gallons out. That's what I'm going to go with. I say two to three gallons to be happy, because uh, we might make a little mess down in there we're not trying to so yeah we're gonna start filming and start ripping some shit off here and i'll let you guys know how it goes all right so the hardest part right here draining out the radiator yeah i'm kidding it's not the hardest part it just takes a little while that little peacock just put a little uh little wrench on it or like a uh uh like a pair of pliers Turn it counterclockwise until uh, coolant starts to draining. Then uh, let's take my cap off and yeah, we're gonna drain about, I don't know, probably a good two, three gallons so we don't make too much of a mess. You know, I gotta keep the old girl clean. Can't keep this one clean. Damn wide wheels, look at that. Get in on that action. Oh, I washed it three times this week already, man. Unbelievable. So, once that's drained out, we're going to get in right over here and um, show y'all what to do. All right, so while we're still waiting for the coolant to 
drain, you're gonna wanna get a ratchet and an eight millimeter socket. So for start, I took this bracket, this little bolt out in there. This thing should just lift off. And then it's also an eight millimeter right there for the little heater inlet tube. I put a little rag in there just in case some residual probably might come out, honestly. Um, truck's been sitting for a little bit, a couple weeks. <laughs> uh, so there might not be anything coming out, but there probably will. So then this down here, I probably won't be able to film it because I'm all solo dolo on this mission, but I'm gonna show you, try to show you how it snaps in, the little connector you gotta take off, don't forget about, and blah, blah, blah. So yeah, film more of this in a second once this is, this is off. All right, so I wish I could tell you this went a little easier, but I'll show you the hard part for me at least. So here is the heater inlet tube, little O-ring around there. So once you take that bolt, I put some rags, like I said, once you take that bolt off right there, all you do is just shimmy, cause I mean, there's an O-ring seal. So you just gotta shimmy it and it'll pop out. So no cool one came out there, so that's cool. So if I could film this, <laughs> got my headlamp in here. This was a pain in the ass, man. I don't know if it's because I have so much shit in the way, which I do. So basically I had to slam my arm down in here. And then, well, let's, you know what? Let's just get this bad boy out. Oh, I'm covering the camera. All right, let's just get this whole thing out. So here's what it looks like. So this 90 degree elbow, that is off the heater core. So basically what you gotta do is, I'm gonna show you in a minute. There's a white tab. Basically, you push this elbow in and you got to pinch these tabs, but they're like internal, not external. Like they're not like humps on the outside where you just press them. They're like in here. So you got to like almost pinch your fingers in there. So I actually had to use a, uh, a flat blade screwdriver that helped out. So, but, and definitely some cool one came out of the e-core. But if you get in here, uh, where's it at? I mean, look at that, man. That was a bitch to get to. I, I put some rags down, but some cool one came out. So the next thing is that white tab that's on there, a little nipple, whatever you want to call it. We're going to take that off. Do not forget to take that off. So I'm about to take that off real quick. And uh, yeah, so that's how you get that hose out. The heater inlet tube, whatever you want to call it to the... Uh, uh, what's it called to the uh, heater core so yeah so now you got this little tube adapter I put a little bit of coolant on the o-ring just to lubricate her up so then we're gonna come down in here and let's see we're going to pop that bad Jerry in just like so then we're gonna take the new supplied hardware we're gonna smoke her down. No, we're not gonna smoke her down. This goes to 89 inch pounds. So, what you definitely wanna do is you don't wanna use some ugga duggas on this, you wanna torque it down. So, all I have is a small foot pound torque wrench right now. So, uh, if you ever, if you ever wanna get inch pounds out of foot pounds, basically say it needs to be 89 inch pounds, which it does. All you gotta do is do 89 divided by 12, which comes out to like 7.42, blah, blah, blah. Vice versa, if you wanna get foot pounds out of inch pounds, times anything by 12, whatever your torque is. So we're gonna torque that down. So here's the nipple, whatever you wanna call it, that's gotta come off. It sits on there like this. So basically you're pinching in to get the elbow off. So now this, you gotta reverse it, you pretty much gotta bend these tabs up a little bit and then slide it off so i always save shit like this just in case never know if i'll need it again but uh that guy right down in there it's torqued to 89 inch pounds so we're gonna mock up the hose we're gonna have to trim the hose we're gonna put the quick connect in there and then uh once we get all that together we'll show you it all done just like that this part is all buttoned up so, I mean, look how much better that looks, man. I mean, the other one wrapped back there, you couldn't really see it, but I gotta have all SPE, man. You gotta, you gotta represent. I also gotta zip tie this. This will all be moved, because 
my uh, intake piping kit from them is coming soon. So I think it'll actually be delivered today. So clean all that up when I do that. So anyway, uh, I slide this guy on there, with the hose clamp. I just mock fit it up. I just slide it on there. So this, so this, the whole hose, you got to trim it. So basically I put the hose, I didn't even put the hose on actually. I put the quick connect fitting down in here. I just slightly pushed it on. I didn't click it in. And then I ran the hose and then kind of measured with my finger. And then basically I held it with my finger, took it out. And then, all right, here's where I want to cut. So usually it's probably like a, I forgot how long the fitting is. Maybe like quarter inch, half inch past up to the fitting so it will seal all the way. Um, Cause you don't want to cut too short. Then you're, you're going to be SOL. So anyway, so I took that out, cut it. And then when I put it back in here, I, <clears throat> I put the hose clamp on the quick connect first. I mean, you can kind of see in there, see the green tabs. That's quick connect. This is quick connect elbow from SPE. Ford connector style. It just slides on. It's got it's a barb fitting. So I put this hose clamp on, tightened it, and then all you do is just push the quick connect on with the green tabs. That's it. So that is it for this part right here. So the inlet T inlet heater tube is now gone, and it's all SPE high grade silicone. Got the clamps. Got their adapter right there, torqued down 89 inch pounds. So now all that's left to do is uh, replace this degas bottle hose. And then we'll slap that on real quick, add some coolant in it, and we'll show you how to do that. So about wrapping this job up here in a second. So I recently bought one of these fancy tools. I'm trying to see how fancy it fucking is. Oh yeah. Yeah, that'll get her going. Then I've had this one for a while take these clamps off might not even be able to fit oh yeah no moss no moss oh wait hold up so we're gonna put a little bit of see this is the problem man i can't work when i'm filming anybody want to film for me there we go you just kind of squeeze it wiggle it off just like so and we'll go head on over to this side all right so this line is on uh filmed a little taking it off it's kind of hard to film by myself so i mean it's cut and dry man pull the clamp off they supply you with supplied hose clamps uh i think they're ten, number 10 and then uh i mean yeah, it looks so much better put this all back in i actually wire tied that back down where that connector is or that little tree, whatever you want to call it. Put that on, hose clamp, same thing. So that is uh, that line and this line. We're just gonna fill her up with some coolant and uh, check for leaks. I usually use a clean bucket sometimes and I could reuse the old coolant if it's immaculately clean, which it was, but it, it's so damn windy out here. There's a few flakes in that bucket floating around. So new coolant, man, don't, don't even fuck with it. So here's, basically everything we took off you got this shit all snip snap together and then uh yeah this this line so we're looking good now all righty so i put back uh i think i had to go buy some more cool i think i put about a little over two gallons back in it so once we start it up and run it it'll drain back down uh there's no you ain't filling up at the radiators or nothing like that you just fill it up in the reservoir so uh i'm gonna start this bad jerry up it's a part. I got other projects going on right now too. We uh whole bunch of fun shit going on with this thing. Let's see. Ooh, it runs. Let's see. We got any leakers? I'm not seeing nothing. Oh yeah, that looks nice. Uh, oh, it's good down there. Yeah, baby. Oh 
Oh yeah, check that out. She's uh, going down. So that's what we're wrapping up today's video. Uh, yeah, if you got any questions, let me know. Uh, Top Corey, uh, another guy who runs a lot of SP. I watch a lot of his videos, so he helps out with a lot of tips and tricks. And he's a power stroke guy, so Top Corey, what up, brother? Let's do a collab or something, man. Brace the, uh, brace the power strokes. So, uh, yeah, tune in to the next one, guys. I got the uh, big intercooler piping kit that just came in from SPE for this bad Jerry right here. So, like, comment, and subscribe. Deuces.